Hey everyone, so previously setting up the GitHub MCP server, it was a bit tedious because we had to add some access tokens and some Docker stuff, which always threw me off. And then like, what happened? Well, we were going live and you were all sharing your access tokens. I saw you all. Um, well, now there's an even a better way of doing this. So if we go to the GitHub MCP server page on GitHub, we can scroll down and we can see uh, what we need to do. We can like literally just click one of these buttons, but I'm actually just gonna go and copy the code here. So look at that, literally three lines of code. I can just go back into here and now I can literally remove GitHub. Look at all that lines of code, delete. I can paste this in here. And now we put a comma and now we've got this beautiful, um, it's nothing. It's like literally three lines of code, two lines of code, type in URL. And I'm gonna go and save that. And let me press restart and see if it actually works. Now I'm restarting it. The MCP server definition GitHub wants to authenticate to GitHub. And I am going to allow it because I am me and I want to authenticate. I'm signed in as Debs O'Brien, that is me. I'm gonna press continue and it's doing all that usual thing. And I'm basically authorized Visual Studio Code and use GitHub mobile and I'm gonna to go to my mobile. Like this is really secure. Okay, let me just go to the mobile GitHub and da -da 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 -da. see you can't, you can't steal my access keys. You see that? And I'm gonna type it into my mobile. I'm going to approve that. And now I should have access. Woohoo, launching Visual Studio Code Insiders open. And now that's it. I now have access to the MCP server in GitHub. So now what I can do is I can go ahead and ask it to get all my issues and it's gonna ask me to accept this and I can allow or cancel. Um, I want the MCP server to connect to GitHub and authenticate. Yes, go ahead and do that. So uh, click allow and look, there's my name, Debs Dash O'Brien. That's my uh, GitHub username. That's the one I wanna sign into. So I can go ahead and select that. That's the one it wants to use. And you can see there the input, the owner, Debs Dash O'Brien, repo debut.codes and the state um, all, so that looks good to me. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, let's accept that. And then we are now authenticated and you can see now the output um, that the MCP server gets back. And then it gives me this beautiful text telling me about all my open issues and everything that I wanted to know. This is super cool and super useful and super easy to do. Amazing, okay. Um, now it's gonna create the detailed issue uh, for option four, uh, which is what we asked it to do, um, which is what I asked it to do earlier. Okay, it has found uh, my uh, website, owner Debs O'Brien, repo.codes, and uh, that looked great. Let's go and continue. So it's gonna open that new issue. Let's create a comprehensive GitHub issue titled the issue includes, this looks amazing. I love it. We can now assign it to Copilot and you will have everything you needed. Can we do that from here? I'm not sure. Can you assign it to Copilot? Can it do it? Can it do it? I have no idea. I've never done this before. I'll assign the issue to Copilot. Oh my God, I think it's actually assigning it to Copilot for me. <sighs> Run assigned Copilot to issue. What? This is, this is cool. I'm just like staying in my development environment. I'm not even have to go to the website and I'm just like assigned to Copilot, go do it. Oh my God. That means I can like literally just go off to bed now and let it do its work. I'll come back in the morning. I'm just gonna have this beautiful job done. Oh my gosh. This is cool. So uh, it's working on assigning it. I have no idea if it does assign it, it's still working. Um, shall we go and, um, uh, shall we go and check? Oh, it's it's successfully done it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I wanted to check up on it. Okay, I need to check up on it. I need to actually see that this is real. Copilot will be able to follow the conference of technical specifications, the code templates provided in the issue to implement this enhancement. I am blown away. Uh, let's go to my GitHub repo. Um, um, there we go. And let's have a look at my issues. 
<laughs> get that it's got an enhancement this is just a beautiful um a beautiful issue and co-pilot has been assigned delegate issues to co-pilots so you can focus on creative works and let's just open the issue a little bit further we can see that it's very detailed um we, like this is really cool this is pretty cool i have no idea if it's going to do a good job but this is a massive um amount and there's a work in progress debbie o'brien assigned it to co-pilot a minute ago there's a work in progress thing going on there and um this is um this is everything that it's doing in the, the the pull request you can see here my pull request is the work in progress um by copilot and i can go down to just a little bit here um and i can view the session so if i go along and view this session um copilot can say it's going to explore the repository it's going to do its thing. It's got pages, videos, package JSON. It's going to look at the current video pages. Um, it's going to check a few simple sample video files. Uh, it's viewing the sample file. It's going to check the existing tests or build scripts to understand. And it's doing its thing. And it's going to take some time. Okay, that there's a lot of stuff I asked it to do, as you've seen in that issue. Um, there's a lot of stuff to work through, so I'm going to go to bed. I'm actually going to go to bed. It's it's uh it's 11:27 here. I'm going to bed, and I will check on this in the morning, and let's see what it did. This is so cool. I'm so impressed. Uh, good night. Good morning, everyone. Um, so Copilot, I sent it off to do its work while I went to bed, and now I'm gonna check and see what it actually did. So um, it basically, this is the pull request from last night and um, it's basically in green now. So it's obviously finished what it's doing. Um, and it basically says that the video is displaying 100 or the video page was displaying 182 videos and it's uh, created new sections, technical changes, and uh, it's created this um, recent video section. So this is a screenshot coming in from the Playwright MCP. Not amazing, we could definitely make it better and not so responsive so we could see more, but we can see what it's done here. Added three videos into the recent videos. Um, so that looks pretty good. The new design transforms the overwhelming single page grid into an oversized, discoverable, or user-friendly experience while preserving complete access to all content. So that's cool. If people want the all button, they can click on all and see all 182 videos. I have way too many videos. So uh, this is ready for review. Let's go take a look. Um, actually, before we review, let's just quickly look at this session, just so you can get an idea of what was going on while I was sleeping. So basically, it started by exploring the repository structure, uh, the types, looked at the video pages, the video tags, uh, sample video files. Um, then it went and ran the build. It looked at the tests. Wow. Uh, the report, the initial plan, and started planning to get changes. Um, added new content.config, so I added a platform in there, a featured, ah, for the featured one, great. Um, added more types in there, videos, all videos, index. And, and then look, it called the Playwright MCP browser Navigate and it went to the uh, website, to the local host um, videos page. And excellent. they could see the videos page is working perfectly. And it can see all the sections are displayed correctly. So the Copilot coding agent was able to visually then see that the recent videos are there, the conference talk section is there, the live stream section is there, and the browse by topic section is there. Now, I did take a screenshot, but the screenshot doesn't show me the full length of the page. So I can't see that, but it's pretty cool. Um, and then it clicked on the view all videos. And it was able to see that perfect, uh, this page is working in all videos and description. And uh, let me test one of the tag links. And, it and I didn't ask it to do this, it just did this. It's really, really cool. Um, and then it tested the, the links here. Um, and then it tested one of the browse by topics. So I clicked on next. And the tag navigation is working correctly. Um, so this is very, very cool. And then it took the browser um, screenshot. Now, again, the browser screenshot has a quality of 50 and a scale of CSS. So it's scaling it by CSS. So I don't know if we can uh, modify that, but that's why the, the size of it is so small. But we can basically look at the whole snapshot there of the page um, if we wanted to. But that's not really worth reading because all those refs are really there for the agent, not for us. Um, so yeah, um, the new redesigned video page with the section layout. Uh, and then it checked that nothing was broken. 
and basically then the build was successful implementation and then it went through and it has done its job so that's pretty amazing i am extremely impressed um with what just happened while i slept and i'm going to go ahead and add my review and i can see we added an image into the content um a featured uh sorry added a comma and then the featured one which is optional that's great and then we changed this in the all video this looks fine and the video index where featured equals true so we've added a featured section um we've added a recent video section with create collection order by date limit eight um a conference video section limit to six and a query collection videos limit to six so this is great and here then we're listing it in the actual view page fantastic and then we've just added a conference into the types as well so that is absolutely perfect so i'm going to go ahead and prove that and i'm just going to say it looks great well well done good job i don't need to do that i'm just totally doing it um so that's basically it and then i'm going to prove these workflows um that just means that it can go ahead and uh, run the tests and uh and check out that everything works, etc. And then, um, and then I'm ready. Is this ready for review? So I can click that. It's ready. And um, yeah, that's it. I can go ahead and merge that pull request once those tests have passed. Super cool. I'm really impressed with that. What do you think? And in case you want to just check the work that has been done, let me actually show you. So let me go to. I've got too many tabs open. Um, that's the deploy preview. Okay, we've got the deploy preview open. This is the new one. And let's go to the actual, that's another deploy preview. Too many deploy previews. There we go. This is the video page. This is my original video page. Let me refresh that. And you can see it's just got a lot, a lot of content, right? And the deploy preview that we clicked on from here. Yeah, I'll just do it here so you can see. Open link in new window. This is the deploy preview. If we now um, go to the videos page, we get a recent videos with a view all videos. We get a conference talks with a view all. We get a live streams with a view all. And, and we get a browse by topic. So we've got this kind of funky um, navigation here. I mean, that looks pretty cool. You might say, uh, maybe we should show eight videos there instead of six. Um, that would make more sense, but depends on the actual viewport of the window. We bring this down um, to kind of like this. Let me see. Yeah, this doesn't look too good. So I'm actually going to say, I'm actually going to go ahead and tell it to add um, eight into there. And don't know if I like the, the view by topic. Uh, or maybe I do. I don't know. We'll keep it there and see if it works. See if it likes. See if people like it. Um, but we can click on view all, view all videos. And we can see all videos. This is great. It, it's very impressive that it just did that while I was sleeping. So I'm I'm pretty pretty impressed. And that is uh, if you haven't read the blog post, the coding Copilot coding agent now has its own web browser and that's using Playwright. So absolutely amazing stuff there. Uh, that's it, guys. Um, have have fun using the GitHub Copilot coding agent and start assigning it issues and just pff, blows your mind what it can do. Blows my mind.